think that's important that the people that come in and teach you and lead the modules are still themselves directly working within the industry. For them to realise that there is a career in something that they love doing, that's the best thing about teaching here. What's special and unique um, for students studying here at the WCG is the location. Leamington Spa has a nickname of Silicon Spa. The UK um, games industry is booming. 10% um, of that industry is here in Leamington Spa. We also have very specialist degrees. They are more geared towards vocational qualifications. We have small group sizes which allows students access to the resources and also the most important thing is tutors five days a week. Of course you've got uh, a pastoral tutor who you can have one-to-one -one sessions with if you need to talk about any issues whatsoever. And you develop relationships with staff, with industry in a way that you feel you're identified and you're looked after specifically. We focus mainly on the art side of video games, 3D modelling, um, animation, um, concept art, building sort of characters, environments, vehicles, um, that kind of thing. There is programming involved as well, but a lot of that is visual scripting. On digital film production, we have a lot of emphasis on training and on the vocational elements, so that as soon as they finish the course, they're just ready to go straight into the industry. If you study the H&D graphic design with photography, you get a lot of photography experience from tutors who actually work in the industry in photography. But of course as well, you've got a lot of Mac time working in our Mac suite. You'll work with branding, working how to develop a brand, working with brand management. The digital media content is about being that kind of flexible digital worker who can have various skills, who can use immersive technologies, digital journalism skills, podcasting, etc. The FDA in Performing Arts covers the foundations of actor training. Whether that be you consider yourself as an actor who's doing straight classical acting, or music theatre, film, TV, and radio, voiceovers, commercials, we cover it all. The industry is always changing, the software it evolves every one or two years, so we make sure that we keep up with that. All students have access to the Adobe CC suite, and they all have their own edit station. We have, you know, ZBrush, um, 3D Studio Max, Maya, um, we recently started using Blender. So students have access to this wonderful theatre, first of all. We've got a dance studio. We have professional audio kit. We use Blackmagic cameras. Students have access to two different game studios. Um, they're equipped with the most up-to-date PCs. You can work in our production studios, which are photography rooms. We have professional lighting kits. We have a bespoke green screen studio. We've got a developing production suite which allows students to do voice work, they're on podcasts. We also have the latest um, VR kits as well, so the Oculus Quest. We also have our lovely edit suite. We invite industry advisors in to help us design the courses. We've been working with local employers to check the modules and make sure that the content that the students cover is up to date and relevant. We have live briefs. Work-based learning is also embedded within all of our modules. So you experience what it's like to work to deadlines. The students run their own in-house game studio called Studio 694. Yes, lecturers come in to work with them on their assignments. Often there are live briefs set specifically for the relationship with a particular director. We also have a production company called RLS Content Production and the students do work on this learning company with local businesses. Some of our past students have gone on to work for Ardman Studios, Pinewood Studios, BBC, ITV. As an actor, you can work in theatre. Whether that be community theatre, commercial theatre, you can work in film, you can work in TV, you can work in commercials, voiceover, radio, you can work as a workshop leader. The sort of roles that students end up in when they finish here uh, will be in 3D modelling, um, animating, we've had someone who's moved straight into project management, and then there's kind of 2D art roles as well. The sort of jobs that students can go into are really quite varied, whether it be working for establishing a new brand for a new company, wedding photography for example, event photography as a consultant, or working in a bigger advertising agency. 
In the last two years, we've had five students who were headhunted before they finished the course. Um, so we know we're teaching the right content. 